Uh, Jason, uh, do you share the view of Mark Zandi that these last two jobs reports are uh, more about weather than, than the state of the economy? You know, I think that you don't want to read too much. As I've said to you before, Chuck, into any given month's jobs report, if you look at the last 12 months, it's 2.3 million private sector jobs. You know, even this past month at 142,000 was you know, a little bit below expectations. Other months, it's a little bit above expectations, and it's basically averaging out. One of the things we find most encouraging is that unemployment rate came down to 6.6. .6. It keeps coming down. If you look at forecasts just a couple right. months ago, people thought it would take us another year to get to where we are now in the unemployment rate. Let me ask you on the CBO front, and not on the, uh, the question that you think I may be asking, but it's on the, mm. to me, the bigger topic, which is essentially they projected an economy that is stagnant for the last seven years because of the aging population coupled with uh, the uh, the pressure of the entitlements, both the Social Security and health care and the costs of that and the baby boom generation. So let me ask you this. Uh, doesn't this mean that you guys have to tackle major entitlement reform now? You can't wait five years, ten years, but you've got to uh, tackle this issue now, whether it's tax reform, Social Security reform, Medicare reform? Chuck, that CBO report showed that the deficit is coming down at the for the first three time. years. Then it's going to pop yeah, back and up. It's, and they they have a lower projection of deficit for next year. The debt continues to decline as a share of the economy through about 2017 or 2018. And then absolutely, we need to do more over the medium and long term to President didn't even say the word entitlement. Economy. President didn't even say the President, word entitlement in his state. Oh, you know that he has been there from the very beginning of this administration, prepared to work with anyone on a balanced package that includes mm -hmm. revenue and that reforms our entitlements. But we have made a lot of progress on our deficit. We are getting our debt down as a share of the economy. And the most immediate imperative we face is expanding opportunity. And that's what the president's taking action this year to do. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Jason Furman. Thanks for uh, checking with us. First White House reaction to the January jobs numbers. Thank you, sir. Thank you.